Hello again. If you haven't met this guy yet, I'm Dana Goodman. Over there, that's John Lewandowski. But today, today you can call me Captain Kill. Because as I was informed, I'm not, I'm supposed to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. So, this may be the last show of our existence if it goes uh, the way I think it could go. So, first off, I'm going to say this. Our defense blows. Duh, John. All right. So, shots on goal. Nashville in the first period had 12, St. Louis had 10. In the second period, St. Louis had 15, Nashville had 7. In the third period, St. Louis had 8, Nashville had 7. In total, St. Louis outshot Nashville 33-26. to 26. In the face-off circle, the Blues were better at 71% to 29%. Tell the uh, truth, they dominated. Yeah. They really did. On the power play, the Predators went 0 for 4. The Blues went 1 for 5. Penalty minutes, the Predators had 15. The Blues, 13. Hits, the Predators, 30. The Blues, 20. Blocks, each team had 10. Giveaways, the Blues had 7. The Predators had 6. Scoring in the first, nothing. Scoring in the second was Brady Braden Shen. He scores his 11th with an assist from Justin Falk, his 17th, and Yanni Mikola, his third. Then Colton Sisson in his with his seventh with an assist from Cole Smith, his ninth. Um, that's also congratulations to Colton Sisson, 500 NHL game. Not sure that's how you wanted your 500th NHL game to go, but. We're, we're going to go somewhere with this in a second. All right, scoring then at the 8.30 mark was Brendan Saad. It's a sad day when Saad scored. Uh, 14th goal of the season with an assist from Pitlick. Tyler, I believe, his fourth, and Tucker, his first. Tucker also kicked the holy tar out of Smith. Um... Then scoring was Jordan Cairo, uh, his 21st with an assist from Thomas, his 30th, and Bushnevich, his 23rd. Yesterday, I said that Thomas, Cairo, and Bushnevich had been getting a lot of power play points for them. And to stay out of the box. Right. Apparently, they didn't listen. Third period. Third period. Uh, at the 103 mark, Robert Thomas scores his 12th of the year, assisted by Saad, his 6th, and Rosen, his 8th. Then at the 201 mark, Alexei Toropchenko scores his 3rd of the year, assisted by Pitlick, his 5th, and Walker, his 3rd. Then at the 1752 mark, Matthias Ekholm scores his 5th, assisted by Carey, his 4th, and Novak, his 5th. Here's the thing about the Preds. The rebuild that you will do if you trade, say, Ekholm and Fabro to, for, for prospects will not take that long, especially if you get some first-round picks to go with that. Right. Especially with how deep this draft is and what you have la- waiting in the wings. And what I mean waiting in the wings is literally wings. You have guys like Jakob Kamel and, and – and, Tomasino, and I can understand why you wouldn't want to call him Tomasino because this team does not play well. They're not playing well. Why ruin the young man's confidence? And he's not, he hasn't been playing with that confidence much lately either. Right. But let's get into it. Crap list. Granlin, Janelle, Johansson. That's it. In net was UC Soros stopping 28 of 33. I'm surprised they didn't yank him in the second. Uh, 84.8 save percentage. Uh, In net for the Blues was Jordan Bingington. He stopped 24 of 26 with a uh, 92.3 save percentage. (sighs) 
three stars of the game were one was Tyler Tucker, Brendan Saad, and Robert Thomas. Your referees were Chris Rooney and TJ Luxmore. Ryan'smen were Travis Gorlitz and Jonathan Deschamps. Head coach for Nashville is John Lord Voldemort Hines. Uh head coach for St. Louis is Craig Berube. Scratches for Nashville were Mark Jankowski. That is all. Uh, scratches for St. Louis is Logan Brown, Steven Santini, and Nikita Alexandrov. We will be back tomorrow. I believe tomorrow's a double, if I remember correctly. Um, we're checking quick. Yes, the Preds play. Oh, Preds do not play till Saturday. Preds don't play till Saturday. Saturday is the double then. So tomorrow the Admirals play Iowa. We have not played Iowa since November 19th and we won 2-1. to one. Uh, Previous game before that, we won 6-1 to one, and they won 4-3 to three the game before that in overtime. In the last meeting, the Admirals had uh, 28 shots on net to their 29. Admirals did not have a power play in that game. Scoring was Nick Sweeney, Joachim Kondalik, and Kiefer Sherwood. Back when Kiefer Sherwood only had six points. Or six goals, sorry. Kiefer Sherwood's now at 14. So he's doubled that since. Um, with this loss, the Preds drop to fifth place in the... <sighs> Fifth place in the playoff standings, then it's a very gray area because if they keep playing the way they're playing, they're not going to make the playoffs. Right. St. Louis is rumored to be selling, but now they're winning. Confusing. Uh, Vancouver, we know, is selling. They're two and eight in their last ten. We're six and four. Um, we have a winning record at home, but a losing record on the road. We got to win on the road. Um, as far as divisional standings, we're in the bottom three. Right. Here's where this goes. Todd, what'd you say we were in the league? I believe 21st. All right. Buffalo wins today. They have a game in hand. They could catch us with a win tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, Philly's two games back. Uh, they got with two games. Detroit's three games or two games back. Philly's a game back. Technically two. If they win, they pass. Um, Ottawa's three games back. If they win all three, they pass. Montreal's four games back, four games they pass. So, question is, Preds fans, um, we fall to the bottom of this. Uh, do we start taking for Bedard yet or not? I mean, Columbus pretty much can't seem to win. Uh, Chicago's right. about 500 lately. Arizona's one and nine in their last ten. They just won a game. Um, so there's that. All right. So since this video is a YouTube exclusive only, we're gonna talk about the hot button topic while we're here. This is no sponsorship or anything like that. So John, you know what to do. Yeah. All right. Ivan Provorov did not wear the gay pride LGBT alphabet whatever. I, here's the thing. It changes so much I can't even keep up with it. There's LGBTQ. There's LGBTQS2+. LGBTQ+. You know, um, here's my thing. And I can only speak on my side of things. As a Christian man, it is against my religious beliefs. Right. 
do I have a problem with it? No. Will no. I support them in their hunt for equality? Yes. Mm -hmm. do, do I agree with everything they do? No. So here's the thing. If he said, if, if, if you say he's wrong, then you don't follow the American dream. Because some people come to this country for religious freedom, political freedom, or just freedom in general. Right. And chase the American dream. Is this and and, and 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 here I saw the interview that he when he made his comment, he was so professional and I tipped my cap to him. Yeah. Because he was professional. Because you're talking about they asked they went to ask him further questions about it, and they were like, Okay, well, what's your religion? And he goes, Russian Orthodox, which I'm not gonna shame anyone on their religion. No. Christian Orthodox is a version of Christianity. The Orthodox Church, it's a version of it. So I'm not going to shame it. I'm not going to shame any religion. Not here. <laughs> right. But I am going to tell you this. If you're jumping down this player's throat, then why aren't you jumping down certain other groups? Like... I, I mean, I've watched enough documentaries in my life to know that they're gangs. Not, not like I'm not trying to use that as the best example, but gangs frown upon it. Most religions frown upon it. If not all. Um, and, and, and here's the thing. Just because it's in our religious morals doesn't mean we hate you. Because as a Christian, I was raised to not judge a human being. Right. Because it, 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 not to quote the Bible here, and I don't get, try to get overly religious, but in, in the Bible, it does say, do not judge those for you shall be judged in the same manner. So, and I don't want that on my conscience and on me when I go to meet my maker. Right. And... I believe that, yes, I believe, here's, here's if you want my opinion, and it'll be out there, I believe, yes, they should be able to be married. Yes, they should be able to be happy. Yes, they should be able to have uh, the same equalities that us as straight men do. Kicker in that. There are certain things that I just won't do. And I'm not going to talk about those on here because that's none yet. That's my personal beliefs, my moral code. And I'm going to do exactly what Ivan Progrov did and say from here on this, no further comment. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, he goes, and here's the thing. If you have a hockey question, bring it. I I'll answer hockey questions all day. When it comes to this stuff, I don't want to, I don't really want to talk about it. Here's the thing. We talk about stuff so much that it just gets you either live long enough what is it? You either you try to be the hero so long you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. In this case every person who's going after him is breaking the constitution in a way. In the constitution it has we have the right to religious freedoms. Right. That's all I have to say on that. If somebody came to me and, and said, well, you you hate us. No, I don't. I have love for every human being. Mm -hmm. And I say human being. I don't care what you identify as. I don't care what your sexuality is. I don't care what your... Um, marital status, religious platform, political belief, all of those things mean that to me, very little. Certain things will make me not like you, but these situations, 
And, and we knew something like this could happen. Right. It's going to happen again. But here's the thing. Everyone has a right to their opinion. Everyone has a right to their belief system. Everyone has a right to their political party. Everyone has a right to their political ideologies. Everyone has a right to everything that they have an idea to. Their opinion, your opinion, however, to other people means nothing. All right. John, my opinion mean on this stuff may mean nothing to you. We do talk about no, it. We, we, we're pretty similar. Yeah. Yes, I agree. We are very similar in our belief systems and, and what we believe in our, you know, we were raised on God, family, and country. We were raised in the 90s on that. We were part of that last generation of old school parents where parents weren't your friend. They were there to raise you and teach you how to live and be an adult. This is where I think when I say this, and I don't mean that to be mean, I'm saying this that I've gotten to the point where now the older I get, the more I identify with Red Foreman. Mm -hmm. John laughs because John knows what I watched earlier today. Kudos to Netflix. We both, yeah, we both watched it. <laughs> Kudos to Netflix on that 90s show. Good watch. But here's the thing, even that, even that, good job on the way of handling it. They had the 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 one kid who was gay and came out on the show and said he was and, and wasn't afraid. And there was love there. That's what we do. That there's always, hey, I'm if you need to tell me or you want to do that for me, to, if you can trust me enough, that's fine. But don't force your values on me right because i'm not going to force my values on you i'm going to force how i carry myself on you which is a good caring humble human being and that's all i can be because at the end of the day this is this and i know this is a dangerous topic for this podcast yeah and and and, and we knew the risk coming into this topic yeah. But here's the the reward in it. We're calling it down the middle. Should he have? Maybe, maybe not. But his beliefs, your beliefs, they're going to be there after the game. Right. It's also something he was raised on. And that's not something easy to be broken. When you're, when you have something a specific way for so long in your life and here's the thing he's worn them in the past he just said this year i'm not doing it right do you know his jersey raised the most amount of money because it wasn't worn here's the thing as a human being i respect what he did because i respect his religious beliefs yeah and his, and that's here's the thing. All he said is it's against my religious beliefs to support this, and by wearing it, I feel like I am. If that's if it's so hardcore in your soul, and you believe that, I will stand behind you because you're expressing your religious freedoms, your right to free speech, and your rights to be in this country and show love. He even said, and I quote. These are his words. Those are their choices. But I'm not I'm not wearing it. I'm not supporting it. You could I, I'll support your choices. But it's not my choice. My choice right. is to not wear it. And in a sense, I feel like if I was playing, I would kind of do the same thing. Yeah. You know. It, it's it's a it's a gray area because here's my thing I have no problem well, you stop weirdo <laughs> um it's it's just really struggling because here's the thing I remember when I was younger and um gay marriage had been going through the political ringer so to speak. Uh, do we approve it? Don't we approve it? It was approved. Now they want all these other things. 
And then if we give them that, then what else are they going to want? So it's, it, 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 as far as, as a, a, a political standpoint, um, it is very questioning on how far will this go. The other part of it is, as I did see politicians speaking out on this, to that I say, shut up. Both sides. Let's go back to playing the game. Because at the end of the day, color, race, or creed, or religious preference, uh, sexual preference, or ideologies do not matter of how you perform on the ice. Right. Now, as far as this goes, I still support Luke Prokop in everything he does. Luke Prokop, first NHL or first NHL draft pick to come out as gay. We, John, we we yeah. paid for it. Right. We did, and we're not going to go back on that. Never will. That took guts. It took strength, just like this did. You're talking about two different ends of the spectrum because you're talking about this could be career suicide for him as well. Right. But guess what? doesn't really matter. There's so many other leagues to play in. But he's such a good player, it won't matter. Top four defensemen. They didn't bench him. John Tortorella said he supports him in his in his belief system. Which when Tortorella supports you in your belief system, that means that you you're okay. You'll be okay. But I really do think that if at what point do we question how much we do this stuff because you know how do I put it John what would your explanation on this be would you think that if they do this every year I think I'm going to start seeing this more and more yeah I, I do too because now they know they can right because he wasn't punished by the league. And they can't go back and punish him. Right. It's too late now. Yo, so, here's the thing. You have to support both sides. You have to show respect. And that is something that I feel is lost right now. Right. The respect for other human beings, rights, beliefs, and personal opinions. Yes, I know me and your opinion of this game may not matter. Our opinion of this topic may not matter. But here's our opinion of it. I support him and what he does. Nine out of ten. I'm not really a big fan of the Flyers. i not a big fan of any Philadelphia-based team uh, or any team that wins a championship and they destroy their city. <laughs> but I will say this if you're talking about one person and you're circling him and there's going to be eyes on him for a while now and they're not going to be good he's going to make a hit on somebody and they're going to oh, do do but it was a clean hit. The guy skated with his head down. Kind of like the guy that got hit yesterday in the Admirals game. And I told him, you know, there was a guy that got hit and he skated with his head. He was, his head was down. You could see it. And, and I'm like, they didn't call it, obviously. But, you know, here's the thing. When you're talking about playing the game, because the game does matter. Hockey is for everyone. The NHL is not wrong. Here's the thing. When you sit here and look at it, diversity is a thing in hockey. You just don't see it in this country. The diversity in Canada is insane. Yeah. But 5% of the diversity makes it to the league. Look at Jeremy Lowen from Jamaica. Do you know how hard he had to work to get here? Harder than any any player. I'm not. I, I'm pretty sure Jamaica wasn't on the scouting report list. 
I'm just saying. He played his junior hockey in Canada. Yeah, I get that. But all his Pee Wee stuff was in was in Jamaica. You know, there's there's so much equality, but you just have to look for it. Right. And we need to start with looking at what's going on in 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 at, at, at this equality comes with equality you have to give it to get it right and i'm not seeing that that's why i said why i brought up luke Prokop, because we give equality i'm supporting one because of his religious beliefs and i'm supporting the other because of his personal opinion even though it's against my religious beliefs I still support him. I wish him the best. But that takes no rank on how I feel about how he plays the game. Because the game and that are not linked. Right. Shouldn't be. If you do that, then there's something wrong up here. Because if that's the case, yeah, it's just, that's bull. That'd be like me saying that, yo, I mean, it's just frustrating. I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm frustrated because I see a young man being attacked for his, his standing up for his beliefs. All right. His religious beliefs. And then I see another young man attacked for his sexual beliefs. Or his sexual preference, I should say. That would be a more cor correct term. And guess what? Both of them, it's their choice. Their lives, yeah. not mine. All I can do is wish them the best and hope for the best for them. Because that's my job as a good person is to make sure that the best happens for everyone around me. It, as me and John always say on the show, just have fun. Well, you're taking the fun out of it. I know. Okay. Oh, you are. I see it. But, you know, there's... What would you... You know, I've spoke so much. What's you <laughs> have at it? <laughs> There's not really much to say. I mean, I I support it too. I mean, you you pretty much covered everything, man. You did. Which is funny because me and your when we talk about our belief system, yeah. we're not identical on the religion part. Um. I'm one way on the Christian spectrum and you're another way on the Christian spectrum. Politically, we differ at times, but we talk about it as friends. Right. Like, you know, we're never, like, that's the thing. At the end of the day, just remember, I'm, I'm, I'm here, or we are here to entertain you guys, give you guys statistics, talk about hockey, and this is the last video I wanted to do. Me and him have waffled on this one more than Brett Favre retiring. <laughs> and yes, that's a Wisconsin joke, and I know it's old. But I'm going to tell you this. What would you prefer? Would you have preferred him to wear it, take it off on the ice, and throw it? Because he's frustrated? Because in his contract, it says he has to wear whatever they tell him to wear? Apparently, uh, uh, you know, religious freedom for that part, I guess it sticks. Because anytime you make somebody and say, hey, that's against my religion, I'm, I'm not doing that. Right. You know, so like during Lent, I, on, on Fridays, I only eat fish. I eat, I eat very little, you know pork or any of that it's a lot of like fish and lamb and stuff like that you know I, I I truthfully believe that if you hold to your moral values in life and you try to be the best person you can be all you can do is be happy yeah be happy for yourself don't think about what others do you do that. What happiness do you have? 
the happiness of others. You got to be happy for yourself first. Something me and John had to learn. Especially two people with crippling depression. <laughs> and mental disorders. And unhappiness. But we understand it. And yes, I know I'm using the fully allotted time. So they're going to come to a point where they're going to cut me off. I know. But I want you to understand this. Everybody, we love y'all. Doesn't matter your opinions. Doesn't matter your preference. Unless you're a Nazi, I don't care. You're a white supremacist, I don't like you. You hate people, I don't like you. I don't hate people. It's not my my nature. I can't really. I could just like how somebody carries themselves, but I don't hate the person. People change. Like like I said, just got to be happy with who you are. Thank you guys for watching. I understand that this is a touchy subject for all. But like I said, equality comes with equality. And just 